Hello and welcome. Today in this video, I'm going to show how to easily convert MBR to GPT or vice versa. Let's go. So to do it, I will use special software called Minitool Partition Wizard. All links will be in the description. It has a free version. Click here, download now. Then open the file, select the language, click next. The free version has basic disk partition management. If you need more features, you can use Pro Edition. Then click next, click install and wait until it ends. Now open the app and as you can see it shows all my disks. Now you need to select the disk you want to convert. In my case, I will use my test SSD, Better Burst Elite, with 120 gigabytes of capacity. Now my test SSD has GPT partition table. For example, I want to convert it to MBR. How to do it? You need to select the disk and then press here. If you'll click once again, it will change the value, GPT to MBR. Then click apply and click yes. And now as you can see it has MBR partition table, so it's working well. Also I want to do it with written files on the disk. Will it work? Let's find out. As you can see I have a Word document and it has some text inside. Now let's try to convert MBR to GPT. Click apply and wait until it ends. It was converted successfully. Now as you can see it has GPT partition table. Let's check our text document. Nice, it wasn't deleted. Go next, let's check out the features. Also, you can move or resize partitions. To do it, you need to select the partition, then click Move Resize Partition. For example, I want to leave only 50 gigabytes for the first local disk and leave 61 gigabytes of an allocated space. Then press OK and click Apply. Let's check. And now we have only 50 gigabytes on the first local disk. And as you may notice, the file in the same place and it wasn't deleted. Now if you want to create for example the second local disk you need to select an allocated partition and click create partition. Here you can select the partition label for example let it be local disk. Here you can select a drive letter and let it be H. Here you can select the partition size and click OK and apply. And let's check and now as you can see we have two local disks and the second has 61 gigabytes of capacity. It's working great. Go next. Now, for example, you want to merge partitions. Then you need to select the first partition, click Merge Partition, click Next, then select the second partition and click Finish. Then click Apply. And as you can see, our partitions are merged. And we have the full capacity of the disk. Also, you can extend partitions, split partitions, etc. The app has other features, you can convert NTFS to FAT. Let's try it. As you can see now, our disk has NTFS file system and I want to convert it to FAT. First of all, you need to select the partition and click Convert NTFS to FAT. Then click Apply. Now let's check our disk and great, it has FAT32 file system. It's working great. And as you can see, we have the same file in the same place. And it wasn't corrupted. But in some of these operations, your files can be deleted. Don't worry, the app will ask you about that. Just don't rush. In simple terms, you can do almost all actions with partitions in the app. It has a lot of features. There is another cool feature. You can migrate your OS from HDD to SSD, for example. For example, I want to migrate this Windows 11, which is loaded right now to this NVMe drive, with all my files, of course. How can we do it? So first I need to select this SSD drive with Windows 11 installed, then click Migrate OS. As you can see, we have two options. I want to keep the original hard disk in my computer. So I'll click Next. It found the right disk automatically. Of course, all data from this disk will be erased. Here in the list, you can select another drive. Then press next. It warns us that all data will be destroyed. Are you sure? Yes. Press next. Here I may notice that it also will migrate the boot sector. It means you will be able to boot Windows 11 from another SSD. Then press next and click apply. Then wait until it ends. Time depends on this capacity. Okay, it's done. Let's check. And now we have the full copy of our operating system. And of course, you can boot from it. Also, you can recover your deleted files using this app. All you need is to press Data Recovery and select 
a disk. Also we have a disk benchmark and other features. You even can create a bootable media. If something is wrong with your OS, it will write this up on your USB stick and you will be able to boot from it. That's how you can easily convert MBR to GPT or vice versa. If you're interested, all links will be in the description. If this video helps, press the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. See you later. Bye.